I don't know. I just don't like going somewhere and then feeling like, oh, I just wasted my time. I literally got nothing out of that. Like, if we would have gotten a missile expansion, that would have been at least worth something. Also, I'm loving how fast our game loads with the the GC loader. Loading it off SD. I remember if you went through rooms too fast, the door would just not open because it was loading the next room still. That has not happened a single time, which Prime 2 might be better optimized than the first game. I don't remember how often that happened in the in Prime 2. Oh, wow, that actually hit. We're fucking going. I was going to say, please tell me there's more up here than just lore. This is going to be where that gap is, I think. I don't want to shoot onto it and... Yeah, here we go. I was worried about going down the tube too fast and like just flying into the hole. It all makes sense when we were following that path before. Ah, okay. I see what's going on here. We're going to get our seeker missiles. There's a certain order we have to do. What is this? Spinner. Seeing different colors. Okay, this is kind of fun. Um, I mean, I'm guessing the center is immovable. I'm guessing. Let's see. No, the center does move. Okay. We know that that's correct. I like stuff like this. These kind of puzzles are fun. That I'm not even going to fuck with until we get some of the central ones. All right, here we go. Uh, feels pretty bad that we have everything else lined up, <laughs> but it's not, it's not right. Okay. Oh, this is so easy. What the fuck? This is almost too easy. I guess I lucked myself into a uh, part of the solution. Damn, I wish that was a little harder, honestly. Mini games like that can be kind of fun. Is this is this the grapple? Are we going to go into the dark, get the seeker missile? Oh no, that is the seeker missile. I just saw like a claw looking formation. All right, cool. How do we get up there though? Security system, beam emitters. They shatter the central containment chamber. That seems, uh, I don't know, like it's not very efficient. Oh, that's also... Okay, so this is where we needed to be. It's just the way we got in here was not how I expected because I forgot about that railing on the top. I thought we were going to need the Seeker missiles to even get in here. The Seeker launcher, I should say. Look at that. Good stuff. Can I Seeker like all these guys at once? Damn, they put a limit. They limited me. And even then, they don't... They don't track as well as they probably could.
Man, is this really a spot we're going to have to come back to to get in that portal? I mean, I don't see anything. I don't see a grapple point or anything. I'm trying to just... Who knows? Maybe we come out through that side at some point. We couldn't even get in there if we wanted to, I guess. It says the portal is impassable. Due to safety measures. All right, well, we solved that mystery. There's a lot of doors we can go in now. <laughs> I wish that was considered two separate rooms, though, because that... The way it's laid out on the map was very confusing. Oh, God. Annoying little bastards. Uh, let's hop up in this save room. Being our ship, right? Yeah, what is the point of this room in the dark world? All right. We can repair our, our suit and refuel, but we can't repair the ship itself. The real question is, is there something, anything to be gained by going out through this way? I know there's a portal. So we could hit this portal up. We should probably do that actually while we're here. Yeah, that seems like another scenario where like in testing, they were like, oh, people can't figure out where to go. Let's just have a random thing pop up that says, yeah, go here now. You fucking dunce. You idiot. Go here. Obviously. All right. We're going to take a left and then the portal's right through the door. Very nice. Clean jump. We're going to need dark beam. Right? Through here? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can have some resolution with this little pocket. See, this is... This next room is how I wish they would have done it. Because we got a missile expansion in here. And then we also saw, like, oh, there's something else going on in here. Rather than just nothing. You get nothing. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. I'm going to hiccup. Hold on. We'll fix this. Okay. I think we're fine now. Again, dead end room. Hopefully a good sign. Hopefully we just get something in here and we can leave. What are you? Encased in impervious shell. So nothing. Nothing we can really interact with. Ah. Uh, what is the point? What is going on in this room? Besides this fucking guy. Oh, you're still hanging out. Oh my lord, he's fucking shredding me. Okay, hold on. I need a little more room here. A little breathing room. Of course, we've got two. Okay, we're just laying into him. Watch there be a way to like one shot these guys with like a charged light beam or something. That's almost certainly. Almost certainly true. <laughs> There's probably some very easy way to kill that. So, what am I supposed to be discovering in here exactly? 
Nutrient grade biomatter. Possible source of nourishment. What? Okay, we can get to that platform. What does this do for us? Is this one particularly important? Impervious. Uh, light? Charged light. I got nothing, man. Power bomb? Or maybe it's like the, the tentacles. It's just something to block the path. But then why... Why come in here at all? Maybe it's like the ship room. Maybe there's just literally nothing here. I, why would this be even accessible then? Uh, <clears throat> Scan visor is not doing me too many favors. I don't know, man. I feel like this game has a number of, of points like this where there's a room that I'm just like, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to, supposed to gain by coming through here. I don't know. I feel like a Metroid, a Metroid game is at its best when you see something and it sticks in your mind. Like, Oh, I have to come back here. You know, like I'm going to be thinking about this. Like, when I get my next power up, I'm going to be like, oh, I can go back there now and like accomplish something. That room does not give me that vibe, but there's nothing there that I'm like, I guess maybe when I get power bombs, I could go back and try to power bomb those carapace, carapaces. Maybe that might work. Confidence is not even very high in that. <laughs> Alright, we're going to check out this translation over here. See what this accomplishes for us. Oh, I think we're a couple of rooms away still. I'm jumping the gun. I'm getting my scanner out for no reason. Alright, we're going. Oh my god, I'm stuck. On fucking rubble or something. How do we... God, this room confuses me every time I get in here. I'm like, I don't know what... I think we go across this way, actually. Yeah. That's the way. Right? No, that leads up to the... This, we have to go to the bottom. That leads up to that other room that actually just has nothing in it. Oh, we should have stayed. Should have stayed more fall. I should have trusted my instincts. Right? No. Why do I get so fucking confused every time I come into this room? <laughs> How do I get through you? Because the door is shut off. Is there something in this room? I'm just trying to get out of here like as fast as possible. It's fucking me over. Am I dumb? How did we get through this the first time? Gate must be destroyed? Why is the gate back if we destroyed it? Or is this a power bomb gate? Can we actually not get through here? We've been through here before, haven't we? Uh, uh, I guess we'll just go back up through the elevator. We do not have the high yield explosives we need. I don't know why. I thought for sure we'd gone through that way before. A couple of times, in fact. I guess I was mistaken. Or did they switch it up on me? Could we have gone through it one time and then the, the gate broke when we went through? I don't remember. Or am I thinking of this gate? I don't know. 
I don't know anything, obviously. What I do know is we're going to go up the elevator, across the room, and then down. <laughs> God forbid we take the direct route. Not on my watch. Have we opened all the translation doors? Oh my god, can we not even get down? <laughs> Hold on. Are we able to get down even? Nice. These guys should definitely be dropping me light ammo, by the way. Okay, there's some. Oh, we can get in here. Easy. Come on. Shit. Wrong beam. I was just default to light because light's so... So strong against so many things in this game. That's another thing. This is also a room we've already been in. This game does a lot of uh, locking shit behind you. Not a fan of that too much either. Because then I get stuck in these scenarios where I'm like, I'm pretty sure I could have gone through this way before, but now I just can't. It kind of uh, deceives my brain and makes me feel like I'm punished for remembering the map layout in certain ways. Because I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember this. Okay, yeah. We went through this way. Let's go back through this way. Just kidding. You can't. Dummy. Why'd you even try? All right. We're down, we're on the proper side, we can go through this translation and hit a dead end maybe, although this looks like an elevator. So maybe we will uh, be looking pretty good. There's a portal up there that we just couldn't reach before, I guess. Hold up. Brinan, how you doing girl? How's the pooch? See out like a light. Well, now I'm like, do I want to try and get in this portal? I mean, we can double jump. We can get up there. Ah, fuck. I should see what this translation is, I think. Let's just go in here. He's out. No licking on his leg. Does his leg look okay? Like he wasn't licking it while he was there, right? No sign of dryness or irritation. Holy fuck. It's a big boy. Uh, these guys are really annoying. If I do recall correctly. Or are these the guys I want to shoot with dark? I don't remember. He being a good boy for a change. I saw footprints. I think these are the guys I want to hit with a charged dark shot. Yeah, it freezes them. I wonder if I could do this now. Hold up. Well, that didn't murder him. Dude, these guys are bulky. What the fuck? I see dust moving about. Holy fuck. What if we super missile? Even better. That's probably the way to go. Freeze and then super missile. The 
The real question is, was there any reason to actually fight these guys? Echo key beam system. Sonic detection gear needed. That does not help me. All right, we're going. Well, I'm glad Jolie's being a good boy. Not eating his leg, his chicken leg. Uh, that's a Metroid. Dark Talon Metroid. Darkling possessed me energy parasite. The edge. Uh, we can't cross that gap, so we're leaving. At least now we know in the back of our head, hey, we need the grapple and then we can come here. Unlike that one room that just was like, whatever. Very unclear as to what we needed to do. Best boy. He's currently literally the Joel Comfy emote. Snuggled up. A vibin'. All right, back on track. I mean to hit up this translation. Uh, don't remember this room very well. How do we get out? Or is this like some literal one-way bullshit where I can't get back? Can I really not go backwards from here? I would have to go through this gate. Which I need. I need a power bomb. Man, they really want me to just go the one specific way. I guess we just go back to the swamp then. Right? I don't know, man. We're going. I don't know. This game is it feels way way more linear than I than I remember it being. Like we get little little teases and titillations that we might be able to go somewhere, and then the second we do, the game is like, no, you, you can't you can't go in there. <laughs> Like, what are you, dumb? You can't go in there. Idiot. Alright. Temple grounds. I'm guessing it's going to be this right side. God, the dark beam. It's so slow. Yeah, I think this was it. Oh yeah, this was definitely it. How are we missing such a slow moving enemy? Jesus Christ. The beam, it just shoots so slow, what the fuck? All right, this better be where I need to go. If we hit another dead end, it's game over, man. My V, uh, very upsetty. Yes, that's where we need to be there. I guess we should crack this super missile door on the left. Make sure there's nothing else going on back here. Nicely tucked away. Although I can't imagine this leading to anything that we couldn't already access, right? Yeah, how the fuck did that work? Oh, we came in through this way. That's how that worked. 
All right, we need to go Torvus Bog. We need to go back the other way. All right, not bad. Up we go. Get me out. Do sweet tricks on the half pipe. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Something about just the world design in this one. It feels so weird with all these half pipes and stuff. It's it's shattering my immersion. <laughs> you know, if you want to be like that. I don't think immersion... Immersion is such a, a buzzword as well. But I don't think immersion is like... Always the most important. For some games, I, I think there are things that... You sh shouldn't shatter your immersion. Or you shouldn't try to shatter someone's immersion. Try to preserve it as best you can. But for some games, I don't think it matters as much. I would prefer if this game didn't shatter my immersion sometimes, but... <laughs> this would be a game where uh, it'd be preferable if it didn't. But whatever, they have half pipes. The Luminoth, they're fucking skater boys. That's the explanation. Alright, back to Torvus Bog. Oh yeah, we have this door that we opened from one side but never went through, so I don't think it ever fully unlocked. Which is hilarious. We're gonna go check it out and see what see what that looks like. The half green, half blue door. Plus, I think is there a save up there? There's saves everywhere, it looks like. The portal. This is an elevator up, actually, which is could lead us somewhere good. Fuck it. We're checking it out. What's the easiest way? Blue door up across. In there. Easy. Still don't know how to reach that. I love you, baby. Thanks for stopping in, Brian. It always means so much to me. All right, we need to take the bottom path, which is easier, thank God. Like invisible enemies in this room that are really annoying. All right, let's see what this looks like. This should just be a green door. Yeah, it legitimately doesn't unlock properly unless you go through it. It's funny. All the little jolly babies. So cute. So that led to the underground transport. I'm wondering... Can we access that seeker door now? I'm wondering. Don't quite know what that looks like. What is this? Luminoth Sentinel. I suppose that's worth checking while we're here, right? Are we going to get yelled at? Is the game going to yell at me? And say that's not where you're supposed to be. Let's just see where this puts us out. I mean, we're going, we're going super up. This actually probably should just lead us back into, I was going to say back into the previous area. Logically. Where the fuck am I? Oh, we're back at the portal area. Which I guess helps me because I can get to that mine shaft now. There's a couple places we can go. I think we should check here first, probably. What? Did we not? Okay. I think one of my missiles collided with the wall in a weird way. Oh shit, half pipe. Half pipe number eight, baby. Why are there so many? <laughs> what 
What is going into the dark world from here, like, even accomplish for us? Let's see. Because we've been in this room in the dark world before. Which we're also going to call that half pipe number nine. Obviously. The door there we never went in. We can get across there. At least it's becoming easier to navigate the world just in general. Clearly that just connects there. Trial tunnel. Like, do I even want to be in here? I don't think I do. 